Hello YouTube, Gunnut here, here to do a short review today of the Bladetech Eclipse outside the waistband holster. Uh, I bought this holster, <clears throat> uh, I don't remember, nine months ago. I've had it for a while, uh, ever since I've had my Glock 27. It was my first outside the waistband holster for the Glock. Uh, features, it has a sweat guard. It has adjustable retention with this uh, uh, screw right here. And it has these uh, f molded uh, belt clips. This, uh, the Eclipse, at least this version of it, has a FBI type cant as far as how it holds the gun from an angle relative to your belt perspective. And it was made for the Glock 27. So, safety check. Let's see that the gun is unloaded, is unloaded, so it fits the Glock 27. Um, in addition to that, I actually took a Dremel to it. I Dremeled off the end, and unfortunately I don't have the before picture to show you. Maybe I could put in one from the internet, but, so I actually Dremeled off this end because it was actually closed at the muzzle for two primary reasons. One is I wanted to be able to use it with a Glock 19, so the muzzle can slip past here for the Glock 19, and the other is I wanted to be able to use it with my laser light uh, training pro that fits in the end of the muzzle. And with that in, with the closed holster, it would not fit. So I seems to work fine uh, removing that extra that material at the muzzle for me, anyways. Uh, this holster. It's, it's kind of expensive for what it is, in my opinion. It's $60. I have found better holsters for the money. Uh, the other negative for me with this holster is, you can see where the belt loops are. To me, it just rides too far below the belt. Uh, I prefer a holster that uh, would carry it higher so that you don't have to have as long of a shirt or jacket to cover the holster uh, when you're trying to conceal it. So I'll go ahead and it on, show you what it looks like on. Okay, I went ahead and put the holster on. I'm holding, wearing the holster in my usual carry position around the 4.30, uh, between 4 and 5 o'clock outside the waistband position. You can see the holster on the, on the belt there. Uh, and what I was talking about was how much this goes below the belt. I like a little bit higher ride. But with this shirt, um, this shirt's long enough it can it can conceal the holster. Um, I have the retention dialed up kind of high right now. Probably would loosen that up a bit, but I find that I needed an increase for my 19. I have the 27 right now. So with the 27, you can see how it fits, and the draws look. So in closing, although the the holster is decent quality, definitely. Uh, may work well for some. Uh, I'm not using it that much. I found that some of my other Kydex holsters, more of the handmade variety, have, be, are a little more useful for me. I uh, hold the gun a little bit higher like I mentioned and just overall uh, I just have a problem paying sixty dollars for a mass-produced holster when I can get a custom one for forty to fifty that works better for me. If I if Blade Tech were selling this for thirty five forty dollars, I'd buy it in a heartbeat. It's a good holster for that price range, in my opinion. It's just that I've come across some others that I like better. Uh, you know, primarily for me, this is range use. Although I think it, like I showed in the video, it can conceal. Uh, I just not a hundred percent. It's not getting used as much as some of my other ones, so I can't a hundred percent recommend it. But uh, I don't have anything really negative to say about it either, other than the things that I've already mentioned. Thanks, YouTube. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you like the, the Gun Nut channel.